right guys, uh, this is Alan at Cabinets Quick. Um, today we're gonna do a water test with melamines and particle boards. Uh, these are from our sample kit to show the white, the particle board, and uh, the plywood, okay? So in a, some previous videos, we were talking about plywood versus particle board, water resistance, <clears throat> stuff like that. And uh, we were getting some comments, so we thought it'd be fun to kind of show a video of how water would really react with a piece of plywood uh, edge banded with some white PVC. I have a piece of white melamine, same edging and then edging plywood with uh, veneer edging, all right? And those plywoods and melamines are these boards that we're gonna do. In other videos, we're gonna talk about the board and uh, the particle board density because there's a couple of comments about how uh, it was made, uh, some disagreements about density. So in other videos, I'm gonna show what a cheaper particle board looks like in relation to this and what some European boards look like um, just for fun educational video. I am still standing by the statement that uh, we prefer melamine over plywood for multiple reasons, but this is a purely scientific test to show what really happens with the uh, plywood and in water, right? A little bit of extreme test. We're also going to show uh, water on the face only, not a full immersion scenario so we'll do that at the same time and what we're going to do is we're going to um, put the put the parts in show them for a few hours come back and observe and then we're gonna leave them for overnight plus or minus you know 12 13 hours and then observe from there all right, so we're back and I'm gonna put a little bit of water on the face of these guys, just to show what will happen. So this is to simulate, you know, if you had a leak at your sink, suppose. All right, now I'm gonna take the plywood with plastic edge rending and stick it in. I'm gonna take the plywood with wood veneer edge banding, put it in. And the melamine with the PVC edge banding and we'll put that one in as well. It's been two hours, two and a half hours, and we're doing a progress video before we do an overnight leave. So that's what the water's doing on the surfaces of the melamine and plywood. And then the stuff that's immersed, there's not much happening there. Little water's going in. Nothing much is happening with the melamine, but there's a little bit of water going into the plywood there. So we'll come back tomorrow after about 12 to 18 hours and see what happens. But here are the results after 24 hours. That's white melamine. You can kind of see the water, that's the gray, and that is the UV coated pre-finished maple. Can't really see, there's a little shadow. So just the residue of the water, okay? 24 hours completely dried. So on the surface, no damage on any one of them. Now, if you guys are interested, we can do another video with longer water tests. But the most interesting results are here with the full immersion test. So that one with the paper tape, not so much penetration of water. There's zero on that one, the melamine. But the wood one, the wood one has the most water intrusion in it, okay? So I have a theory on why, and the theory is that uh, the water began to go in on the cross grain and then kind of went through along both sides. Whereas this sample of the melamine, there was no place for water intrusion to happen. So the melamine stayed perfectly fine. 
Now this sample with the wood tape, same thing. The water intrusion was on the edge and then would have slowly started coming in and it started coming in slowly on the bottom edge as well. All right, so some very interesting results. So what is really better? Um, you know, results speak for themselves. The melamine has no damage and no difference in appearance. These are from yesterday, uh, just a different angle. I did not put additional water, but I wanted to show the, after another 24 hours, what the panels look like after we took them out of the water. So that's what it looked like in the water part. This is pre-finished maple plywood. This is what it kind of looks like on the melamine. After we took it out of the water, you can kind of see the water line. There's a few little ripples there, but no major damage. The other side looks like that. Okay. And then this guy is still drying out. So that's what that guy looks like after 24 hours of dry out time. So this side took on a little bit more water and there's a little bit of expansion there. So um, that's it. Three part video um, before and after and I uh, hope you guys liked it. Uh, so if you found this video interesting, please subscribe and like and uh, comment so we can uh, get some inspiration for other videos.